This is a node. It holds all of your video information, the controls for the video information, or your pictures. It has various inputs and outputs that are labeled here. The yellow is the background. The green is foreground. The gray is the output. And the blue is for masks. But looking at it doesn't really do too much. So let's jump into Fusion. All right, so here we have a little bit of a node tree and you can see we have a merge tool and it has all those inputs and outputs we just discussed. So yellow is the background, green is foreground and the blue is for masks and then the white one here is for output. So if we drag this image here and we put it into the background, you can see that we have a red circle. Now we have another circle I've created here of a different color and you can see if I put that into the foreground, it goes on top of the red one and intersects it. Now we can swap these inputs by using command T that swaps them around. And now you can see that the first circle, the red one is connected to the foreground and you can see that it is in front. And that is a really easy demonstration to see how those two sort of inputs and outputs are working. You can see here as I swap them, they go back and forth. But if we add another mask into the mix by plugging it into the mask input on the merge, you can see that it intersects with whatever is on the foreground of the merge node. So if I swap the inputs, you can see that it affects the one on top. And again, the red one there and the blue one. And that's how the inputs and outputs work inside of Fusion in DaVinci Resolve.